what's up guys what's up what's up happy meditation monday happy meditation monday welcome welcome if you are logging in or coming in please be sure to share 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 this video we want to get the word of god out amen hey miss annette <laughs> so if you're coming on please be sure to share this video hallelujah so for those of you who may not know me my name is sierra howard and welcome to meditation mondays welcome as you are getting on please be sure to share this video we want to get the word of god out hallelujah thank y'all so much for coming on i know a lot of people have been busy getting some things done i hope y'all are staying safe out there so I'm going to go ahead and get started, y'all. We're going to go ahead and just do the recap. For those of you who are coming on, please, please be sure to share this video. So the scripture for the week after last was a Psalms 34 and 8. And it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. And I'm in the good news, uh, the good news translation. It says, find out for yourself how good the lord is find out for your oneself how good the lord is and so we talked about basically having an appetite for jesus we talked about you know we've created so many we've created an appetite for everything else we've created an appetite you know for things that may not be conducive or beneficial to us or to our spiritual walk but we have to create an appetite for jesus an appetite to to know more of him an appetite to um to just grow in the lord and as we begin to grow in the Lord, we begin to um, walk out our, our full purpose in the Lord. Hallelujah. And so we talked about taste. Our taste is basically our perception of something. Some of us have eaten different things. It may have looked good, but when we tasted it, we're like, oh, this was not too good. It has not enough seasoning. It's missing something. And so it's the same thing. God is, is challenging us. He's basically telling us to taste and see that he is good hallelujah and so if you have not watched the replay go back and watch the replay i believe it was a a really great word uh, for all of us because i'm daily daily creating an appetite for more of god because being in this flesh we don't get up and just desire more of god we have to condition our minds we have to condition our spirit to want more of god amen because there are times i wake up and i won't i won't uh a cheese and egg biscuit or something you know but i've i've created i've conditioned myself for when i wake up the first thing i do i do we do devotion me and my daughter we get together we pray we make it our appetite it's an appetite that we we've cultivated to to want more of god and so for today's um segment today we're going to talk about holding up the truth and the truth is missing so the scripture for today we're going to talk about is isaiah 59 and 19 it says when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard when the enemy shall come in like a flood the the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard and so i didn't want to take too much of you guys time but if you guys can when you have a chance go back in isaiah 59 and start from the beginning verse it talks about how the people of god basically alienated themselves from god and when you alien when because they alienated themselves from god they they weren't able to see truth they were walking in lies they were walking in unrighteousness they were they were just completely in sin right and so because they were in sin, um, verses 14 says just justice was pushed aside. People were doing things. There was no law. People didn't abide by. They didn't do things the right way. Everybody was just in sin, basically. And so righteousness was far off. Truth was missing. There was no truth. Nobody was holding up the standard of truth. And so that goes back to the verse that we were talking we're talking about today where it says when the enemy comes in like a flood that the spirit of the Lord will lift up the standard. The standard is truth. He lifted up this up the truth because there was none. There was nobody holding up the truth. There was nobody intervening and saying, "Hey, that's wrong. Hey, we need to get back into alignment. We've gotten out of alignment with God." And so alienate basically means to just isolate. You isolate yourself from 
the things of God. And so that's what the people of God were doing. They had alienated themselves from God. And so as a result of that, there was no truth being um, upheld because they were all walking in sin. They were walking in lies. And so the world, believe it or not, y'all, the world does not want truth. You know, so many times you try to give people truth. People take truth as judgment. People take truth as being, you know, um, they just don't like the truth. When you give people the truth, people people get offended by truth. Nobody necessarily wants truth. There are some people, people of real people of God, you know, that want truth. But for the most part, our society, the world we live in today, nobody wants the truth. Nobody wants the right way of living. Nobody wants righteousness. You know, nobody wants moral you know, the moral standard that we should be living by. You know, everybody wants to live loosely. Everybody, you know, wants to find a loophole um, on how to, you know, keep a relationship with the Lord, you know. And so what I'm saying is God knows that we, you know, that we, um, we have flaws and there are things in us. But our heart should be forever wanting to want more of God. And not only just wanting more of God, but wanting um, his truth. And when we want more of God, we want his truth to be present. We want everything about God to be present we don't just want his goodness we don't just want his peace we shouldn't just want his hand we should want his standard too we should want God's standard over anything and so I was sharing with someone is that I will never I will never desire if, if my child is in sin or if anybody that I'm close to is in sin if I am in sin I won't change the word of God try to switch the word around to fit my lifestyle that's not how god wants that god wants us to come up where he is he wants us to be forever evolving to his truth you know and so i think it's important that you know we have to cry out to god and these are these are a few scriptures that the lord has given me um about us desiring more of truth but before i get to that i want to just explain to you that our world is missing the truth our world is the truth is missing in different parts of the world and, and even maybe in different areas of our lives the truth is missing and so my prayer point that i'm i pray all the time is god give me show me the truth it, you know remove the blinders from my eyes help me to see the truth help me to see your truth because everything that we call truth y'all is not the truth let me just put that out there let me put that disclaimer out there is that everything that we call truth is not the truth. We have the word of the living God that gives us and shows us what's truth. We have the word of God that gives us guidelines on what the truth is. And so the opposite of truth is lies. And so a lie is basically a false or misleading um, impression. The lie, a lie is basically false or misleading impression so you guys know that when you tell some of the truth and not all the truth that is still a lie when you tell some of the truth and not all the truth that is still a lie right and so we have to become people of integrity we have to become people of honesty we have to become people that are trustworthy god is looking for people who want to uphold who are going to uphold the truth even when it's not popular God wants us to uphold the truth. And so because the world doesn't want truth, there are some of us, we desire so much for people to get the truth. And we already know what the scripture says is that um, the truth that you know will set you free. And so that's another thing I want to bring to an understanding is that if you have a truth and you are still walking in darkness in the area, then it's not, it's not truth. Because the Bible says that the truth that you know will set you free so we have to we have to line our our truth and our beliefs up with the word of god because we can't go by our own theory of truth we can't go by our own theory of what we want to we want to call truth because there's so many different truth but there's one truth and the truth is jesus the bible says that jesus is the way the truth and the life he's the only way and so we 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 have the bible y'all to show us what's what we can't we can't create we cannot create truth. We cannot create our own truth. We can't walk in our own truth. There's no such thing as walking in your own truth. I see people doing that a lot or saying that a lot. Walk in your own truth. No, I want you to walk in the truth of God. Even when I'm not walking in the truth, I encourage you to walk in the truth of God. Amen. And so I want to go into this next um, 
this next phase it says what does the truth do for us what does the truth do for us so what the truth does for us um the first point i'm going to talk about is when the truth what the truth does for us is when we receive the truth it sets us free this comes from john chapter 8 and 32 when we receive the truth the truth which is jesus he sets us free from the yoke of bondage when we receive truth we are set free from the yoke of bondage so like i stated earlier y'all i don't care if i don't care if my child anybody that i that knows the way i'm teaching them the way or even if i know the way and i i i somehow get off track or i somehow fall into sin i'm not gonna make the word fit make the word or, or get the word to fit where i am so many times that's what we as people of god or even just people in general do we try to get things to fit our lifestyle no we have to make our life fit the word of god because god's word is true the bible says that god's word is forever settled in heaven that means that it, it can't he can't it can't change and he can't lie and so we as people our emotions they change we waver we you know we, we we're faulty people and so therefore we we have to be a people that are always trying to evolve grow walk in more truth every day i want to be a person that walks in truth every day of my life because it's so easy y'all to fall into sin because you can start off with a little lie and you may say well that that wasn't too bad you know um it'll be all right it was just a just a little lie the bible says that a little leaven leavens the whole lump so even if that may be a little white lie it's still a lie we have to make sure we're, we're being honest y'all we're being trustworthy because as we talked about last week that that's just one of the fruits of the spirit is honesty trustworthy us being trustworthy so the next point i'm going to talk about is what does the truth do for us it brings clarity truth opens our eyes to 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 what darkness or to what you know to what something is truth brings our eye opens our eyes to something that we did not see right and so john 17 and 17 says sanctify them in the truth your word is truth as i stated god's word is the truth that's another prayer point y'all we need to be praying god sanctify me in your truth your word is the truth my word ain't the truth cnn fox 10 news all this other stuff that we go by social media it's not the truth god's word is the truth god's word is the truth i'm gonna say that y'all over and over again god's word is the truth i don't care who done create i don't care if you're with your great great grandmama what theory they didn't live by what tradition they didn't came by if it's if it's contrary to the word the contrary to the living word of god then it's not the truth it is not the truth so it's important y'all for us to always we we listen we have to get out of tradition and we have to come into an alignment of the word of god the word of god should be our tradition we need to break these these human pr traditions and make god's word our tradition there's not there's nothing necessarily wrong with tradition but when tradition becomes contrary to the word of god then it's a lie amen and so the next thing i want to talk about is what does the truth do for us the truth does for us it exposes lies lies are exposed when 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 we when we understand truth when we come into the truth that's what the truth does for us the truth opens our eyes it exposes the lies that we didn't know that were there and so i don't know if i share this i probably shared this a few um segments back but when i lost my daughter y'all it was just so clear to me that okay this happened i hate that it happened let me try to analyze why this happened but not at one point did i think about you get what i'm saying like i guess blaming myself or whatever but at some point it came a time y'all where i really had to sit down and i had other people other witnesses like helping me go through this time of deliverance and i can share this with y'all because i'm delivered you know from all of that that stuff um but the lord gave one of the people who were helping me go through deliverance the revelation that i had been walking in unforgiveness towards myself and then it just it was like something clicked that 
unforgiveness was there. That's why it was like a struggle. It was like I couldn't shake what had happened. I was still, you know, I knew that God was good. I know that this happened, but it was just for the life of me. Like, what was I supposed to do? What did I not do? I was, you know, thinking about what, what could I have changed differently to make that not happen. But the enemy blinded me, y'all, from the unforgiveness that I had towards myself. Don't you know that you can walk in unforgiveness towards yourself? You can and not even know that. The enemy will keep you blinded from those things. And so I got free, y'all, instantly when that lie was exposed that I had unforgiveness towards myself. There was something that broke, like the yoke of bondage around my neck was destroyed from that like I was walking in unforgiveness towards myself and I had no idea I had no inkling you know it was just me and my mind trying to figure out like what could I have done different or um what you know just what could have been done so differently to get a different outcome right and so I'm sharing this with y'all because we have to uncover lies that's what God's truth is here for. That's what his word is here for, is to uncover the lie. What lie has the enemy told you? That you were not enough. That you were not a good mother. That you were not a good father. That you could not be prosperous. That you could not be all that God has called you to be. Y'all know that we can't do anything without God. So we can't go forward without God. We, we can go forward, but we can't, we, we can't walk in the fullness and the totality of God what God has for us because some of us can be prosperous without God but most people who are prosperous they're 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 miserable they're 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 depressed they have everything that they could want except the one thing that money will never ever be able to buy amen and so I'm encouraging y'all we have to continuously run after the truth run after and I'm not talking about my phone I'm talking about the Bible we have to continue to word at run after God's truth because God's truth is already so. It is what it is. It does not change. It remains the same. Yesterday, today, and forevermore, God's word does not change. We change. And so because of that, because of we're not, we're not stable without God, we have to adopt the ways of God. We have got to adopt the truth of God. My truth goes out the window when it's contrary to the word of God. So I'm encouraging y'all today is to grab hold of the truth and ask God, Lord, sanctify me in your truth. Sanctify me in your truth. Your word is the truth. Amen. Amen. So I hope you guys um, have enjoyed this segment. Make sure you are studying or you're meditating on the scripture that we have for the week is that um, when the enemy comes in like a flood, that God, his spirit will lift up a, a standard. And the scripture for that is Isaiah 59 and 19, I believe. Yeah. 59 and 19 and so i love you guys so let's just go ahead and pray we're gonna pray out hallelujah so father god in the mighty name of jesus god we just thank you for your word we thank you for your truth god we just praise you we honor you we glorify you god we thank you god that our eyes are fixed on you which is the truth we thank you god that we will bury ourselves in your truth god that we will sanctify ourselves in your word in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth god we just thank you god that your word declares that when the enemy comes in like a flood then when lies comes in like a flood god that when when darkness comes in like a flood oh God that you will lift up a standard you will lift up your truth you will lift up your peace God you will lift up your righteousness you will lift up your holiness oh God concerning us God in the mighty name of Jesus so I decree and declare I even speak oh God over the president, over our nation, God, over each and every person, oh God, that is on today, God, I release, oh God, truth, I pray that you desire more of the truth of God, that you desire more of his truth, and not the truth of the world, and not the truth of people, not the truth of man, I decree and declare that your heart will begin to desire, your heart will begin to long for more of the Lord, more of his truth, more of his laws, more of his commandments, more of his decrees, more of his statutes, more of his ways, more more of his characters, more of his fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, we just thank you for your word. God, we thank you that your word is forever settled in heaven, oh God. We thank you, God, that you're unfailing and that you're unchanging, God. We thank you and we love you today, God. And we will be careful to give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor in Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. So I love y'all. And if y'all have any prayer requests, 
please be sure to leave your request in my my um my inbox and I will commit myself to praying um, for you guys wherever you want me to agree on and for that I'm just gonna say is that I always pray the will of the Father so um I'm gonna you give me your request but I'm gonna pray the will of God concerning whatever circumstance that you may be facing I love y'all and I will catch you guys next Monday I'm gonna have to make sure y'all I be checking um checking to make sure that holidays aren't coming up because I forgot to let y'all know week before last that um, we weren't having Meditation Monday last Monday. So I love you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next segment.